this kid in his eyes and he makes a decision, a conscious decision to run over me. Only on Fox 5, a case of teenage thieves breaking into cars turns violent for one of their victims. Now, the victim says he was just trying to get his property back when teens ran him over with a car. Well, Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz spoke exclusively with him and has a warning for victims of these common crimes across the metro area. Police do say those teenagers we hear about breaking into cars can actually be dangerous criminals. One man confronted a group of them and he got hit by a car. Watched uh, both tires on the driver's side roll over my legs. Jackson Faw says he's lucky to have only these injuries and a short stay in the emergency room. Police say the teens and young men in this Jeep who stole a bag out of his car ran him over. This kid in his eyes and he makes a decision, a conscious decision to run over me. Faw says he was parked at his friend's house on Atlanta Avenue Southeast, loading up his car to take a friend to the airport when someone snatched his bag and his laptop. A man came running up and said, hey, they just got your bag out of your car. He said they just went around Hill Street here, a red Jeep. Faw got in his car, saw the Jeep and a group of teens and started snapping photos of his things on the ground and the Jeep driving off. He says he tried to reason with the kids. And asking to bring my stuff back, uh, I won't call the cops. Here comes that same vehicle back down. So I thought, hey, this is awesome. They're bringing me my things back. And somebody on the passenger side said, hey, man, got your laptop. And they punched it and knocked me to the ground. Police say they ran him over, then threw his laptop out of the car. He was taken to the hospital. I thought that it was a simple crime of opportunity. I thought that it was just kids being kids. I had no idea how serious it was. While Faw's been recovering, investigators tell me they arrested four teenagers and young men who were in the Jeep and are now working to tie them all to other crimes. Police say they never advise people to confront criminals and call 911 instead. Coming